Hi, my name's Catherine. I'm a CEO. I was using Mailjet for email sending and then I moved to sail through. And if you want more reviews like this, just click below. Problems that I have been using the software to solve is how do we kind of provide some kind of omni-channel and personalized experience to our newsletter subscribers. The most important thing for us is our email list and you know, it's expensive to get an email and the most important thing to us is to make sure that the emails that we send are relevant and that we prevent user churn. Sail through is really great at helping you understand your audience. So in sail through, we could see, you know, the times that people were opening the newsletter and not on an aggregated basis, but on an individual basis. So it would know that I tend to open my newsletters at 6.30 a.m. and that somebody else is opening them at 6.30 p.m and drop the email into the inbox whenever it's relevant. It's also really useful for personalizing content. So the two of us might get a similar email uh, email, and the offer's in there, but you know, one of us would have a different merchant at the top as kind of above the fold content that we see. And it, it just makes that the emails that little bit more engaging if we can put you know, somebody's favorite retailer as the first thing that they see when they open it. Mailjet is really useful for newsletter building, it's got a really great drag and drop. Um, and you know, if you don't want to have to have somebody who's a specialist in HTML, you can actually lock down various different components of the newsletter and then pass it over perhaps to somebody on editorial to, to make some changes to the newsletter, knowing that they can't change the layout or the kind of component structure of the email. Um, and that really is probably the best thing about Mailjet. I think it's just as easy to get started with either Mailjet or Sail Through. I think you get a bit more hand-holding with Sail Through. You get you know, more of a, a, an account manager um, that, that holds your hand throughout the onboarding process. Um, it's something that we've done a few times as a company, so we understand it now. But I think you know, coming to them afresh, um, you would probably get that little bit more uh, guidance with with sail through but on the whole both of them were very good um, at helping us to onboard. I think the main consideration when choosing which ESP to go for and certainly for me when I was looking between Mailjet and sail through was really looking at that the speciality that I had on my team. Each of them can probably replace a couple of team members based on how you use them so if you've got a very design heavy team then you might decide that um, you know you, you don't need Mailjet's kind of uh, templates and and the way that you can build the newsletters in there. Um, whereas if you have a very data science heavy team, you probably don't need the speciality that you've got uh, within sail through. So it's really to look at, you know, consider the speciality you have on your team and which tools you need because each of those can send email and they both send email very well. It's more the extras that they that they can bring to the table in terms of either marketing or design. Um, contribution to to your output really um, but used used well um, either of them can really save you a lot of time and a lot of money um, we've managed to keep a really slim team by using sail through because we we've leveraged basically every bit of functionality that it has um, the other consideration is around your deliverability we have found sail through to have much better relationships with the postmasters you know across various different domains so if we've ever had any deliverability problems, you know, they've generally been solved within 24 hours. Um, when we were with Mailjet, we had to notice when we had a deliverability problem and take the problem to them instead of them highlighting it to us. And so in terms of account management, you probably get, you know, if that's a consideration for you, you probably get a bit better um, hand-holding with sale through.